Hello, this is the latest video in a small series of videos regarding uh, Koreatown, coronavirus, the SCJ Church, Shincheonji uh, Church, and also a new thing which I'm adding in this video, which is about these, these things. So we got to, in the last video, I spoke about the SCJ church. That's the Shincheonji church uh, in uh, Daegu, in South Korea. It was, um, it, was, um, it was a big, it was an area for a lot of these clusters of coronavirus. But um, I, wanna, I might speak a bit more about that later, but I wanted to speak about Koreatown masks and the differences between wearing masks in the west and wearing masks in the east which one's best which advice you should take and um, a bit more regarding masks essentially um, so why did why don't why am i doing this it's because the reason is because um you know you see stuff everywhere that says don't wear a mask it doesn't do anything and of course if you go to other countries masks do do things like in the in the east they do um you know a lot of asians wear masks uh, all the time especially china japan south korea and um it, although before you jump on me although that is true of course and before you jump down my throat at this at this statement yes that I'm aware of what you might be thinking, uh, that these are worn for other purposes, for dust, for other diseases, for just, you know, bad smoggy air. Um, and this thing we've got now, coronavirus, is not like SARS, it's not like swine flu, it's not like the flu, it's, uh, it's, it's so different. So what I wanted to show you and point you to as well is an article that I'm I'm in the process of uploading I wanted to put it sort of almost instantaneously when I upload this video these videos this one being the third one regarding coronavirus it's like I'm doing four there but no can't count third actually if you look on my YouTube channel which is um, YouTube slash Jason Verney uh, you will see there's actually four that are titled can't count again uh, there's actually four that are titled regarding corona coronavirus in Koreatown. Um, that's because the first one is a tiny, 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 tiny snippet. And it was just a teaser to say what was coming. But the other two, the ones I've spoken about, that I'm speaking about, they've been uh, longer ones. One when I was sitting in the high street and another one when I was actually in an area where I've done a short film um, recently. And well, I'm actually putting it together now. And I did a video about the SCJ church and some rumours that were going around in, in Koreatown. But I, I was just saying that I mentioned the website there. And I just want to get that out of the way now. So I've got a website um, and it's essentially film reviews. It's called Mini Mini Movie. Now, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, you can just about see that. There's an article about Parasite. It's not all Korean related stuff. It's not all Asian related stuff. Um, there's a film I reviewed, a German film here. But the thing is, I wanted to put this on there because I feel like I'm getting mixed mixed responses and mixed misinformation from people regarding this um, masks. It's the same. You're getting mixed reviews uh, concerning um, the distancing in when we're you know the social distancing in. Um, uh, crowded places or you, not just crowded places in any place and you know and it is there's so many mixed mixed things going around and I'm not going to say this is gospel and this is the truth and this is you know what you should do but I will speak about I want to speak about these masks first of all I've when I've been to Asia before I've either bought masks here in the UK in fact these ones I believe were bought in the UK I think it's quite funny this, it's quite interesting because it's got um, 
procedure face mask blue and then it says with ear loops which is is true but i was thinking yeah but what else would they have it's the only thing to keep them up surely unless i'm mistaken these particular ones i mean they could go i suppose they could go right around your head but these ones they don't and this i can't remember this one is probably from um i think this is from uh, when i was in thailand oh yes it, it was when i was in thailand because i'm pretty sure that's thai there i don't think it's khmer cambodian writing but talking of cambodia i also remember buying a big box like this in cambodia very very cheap but when i was out there a couple of years back i've been there a few times i go to asia pretty much every year incidentally and i've traveled different countries and i do filming sometimes and sometimes it's just to meet friends and it's just to get a break so i wanted to talk about these and dispel some rumors um, other people are doing these kinds of facts i suppose not just videos but you know blogs and instead of vlogs but uh, even news channels are doing what you should believe what you shouldn't believe but i wanted to just put this is my perspective on the reason for wearing a mask because people are posting videos saying they don't do anything they don't do anything they don't do anything so what i wanted to do was um basically just read first of all a little bit from my website just bear with me um i've actually got it here so let me just go down to the relevant part um so i bought i'm just mentioning here that i bought loads of these in uh, um in asia and as i said people people say that people, you know this is not like sars this is not like swine flu this is not like those things and it's not dust in the air but it's quite interesting because people do say Oh, it's this disease, this coronavirus, this COVID-19. Oh, it's just like the flu. Oh, it's no worse than the flu. Um, people people get a kind of flu every year and people always die from influenza. So there's, death, there's deaths anyway. Um, and, um, you know, that's that's not true in this 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 particular instant. And also we're, we're told um, that this is not airborne. This disease is not airborne. But my thinking is that in a way it kind of can be because if you think about why we're distant, why we are distancing ourselves from other people, it's surely there's a reason for that. It's not just the air they're giving off or the, or the perfume or the, or the aroma or something or something that's bad. I mean, sometimes I do wish there was some, <laughs> there was some, uh, there was some ban on that because sometimes people do overload themselves with aftershave or whatever. Anyway drifting off the subject but think about it if someone coughs and someone's sub or someone sneezes now that's whether you're in the in the vicinity at the time or you literally walk in a minute later and they've they've coughed and they've they've, they've sneezed whatever just clear their throat even you don't know this this and it could they could do it when you're obviously there but we think we're talking about droplets here we're talking about droplets that are uh, you know the uh, minute minuscule things you know hence they're droplets you know they're not drops um so it's i would argue and this is and this is not just me it's mentioned various places on the internet and there's a really good article that well i say it's a really good article it's, it's one of the few that i could find I actually talk about why the distancing happens and if you read why the distancing happens and that makes sense why the masks can be useful so, but we have to think about this as well, whether the masks work for you to protect yourself, we have to think about, you're not just doing it for you, you're doing it because if you've got the disease and you don't know, because it could be days, it could be a week or so before you find out, it could be longer apparently, you want to protect the people, if you've got any heart, you want to protect the people around you, you want to protect the elderly, the vulnerable, or just anyone who's susceptible to getting it, or just someone who's going to get it, you know? Um, so it's not that's the first thing that I wanted to point out, and that's one thing I mentioned in the article, which will be posted on Mini Mini Movie later on. There'll also be some links to these videos as well, just to, to kind of interlink everything. Um, so as I said, there is a reason for this distance, whether it's six feet, some countries say it's a two or three meters, or it's one point eight, one point five. Different countries say different things. Um, there's a reason for that. So if you think about that, whether it's one of these type masks. Or any other type mask like this incidentally i just remembered there is also when i was last in thailand which was part of my three month trip last year india malaysia cambodia 
uh, South Korea, of course. <laughs> um, incidentally, there's an Indian thing up there from Kerala, from my friends in Bangalore, actually, but it's, for, it's a Kerala thing. And the uh, South Korea, the, the well, Korean Film Festival, London Korean Film Festival, which we've been attending about year, eight years now. Anyway, just on the subject, I remember that somebody gave me a load of these, slightly different. They kind of stick out like, they kind of stick out there, like a big beak, really big. And they didn't want them anymore. And I just was so overloaded with luggage. When I left, that was one of the things I left there. And this, when I left there, and then I moved on to South Korea. When I left Thailand, it was spring last year. And I kind of, I'm kicking myself, I didn't keep those. Anyway, so let's just go back to, even if they are these flimsy masks, these the flimsy surgical ones, and the poor nurses now, they have to really gear themselves up in the, in the NHS. We've got to support them, by the way. Um, even if you're wearing these, you've got to think about it. If a droplet hits your face, then that's bad, extremely bad. But if you've got a layer of protection, whether it be a bit of cling film even, perhaps, I don't, you know, wearing wearing that, but if, or, or if literally you've got this, a, a barrier between your face, then it prevents the nose, it prevents the mouth. Of course, there is a chance it can get through, but there's a chance, there's also a chance that it can't get through. So it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, it's it's kind of the, like they say, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry because it's better to be something there than nothing. Um, and and the, I suppose the third thing is, um, and this is what I mentioned on the website as well, uh, if you um, touch your face, this is thinking about you again, if you touch your face, the mask prevents that. So that's a tiny thing, but it can, unless you're, you know, trying to touch somewhere that's not, not covered up here. So for me, that's three primary reasons and I can't really stress enough that those reasons are three reasons that can potentially save you and potentially save others rather than just telling potentially telling people don't wear the masks they're rubbish and I'm, I understand not everyone can get their masks because people sell out or in Koreatown there seems to be like places there were still selling them because the Korean community you know, well, and I think they've, the signs have appeared now because of this situation. But um, you know, um, they've obviously got some. So just leading on from that, there's onto drop onto droplets, and you know that's the reason we're doing this. It's it's droplets. It's not about you standing next to someone and just giving off this vibe or this atmosphere, this air, or you know, this weird this aura. <laughs> They're giving off. They're giving off. Oh, it's, they're not only giving off. They're spraying. There's, you know, spraying something from, you know, it could be the nose, the mouth, when they cough or they sneeze. Whether you know that or not, whether you've just walked into the room, or the shop, or whatever, you know, you don't know. I've also put on my. Um, I'm also putting on that same article on my website. I'm also putting the differences to why people wear them in Asia and not uh, yeah basically I've called the article East meets West meets masks and haven't actually finalized that yet but as soon as I upload this it will be it will be there um so there's a video on there about that as well as that link about the distancing um so I think that's pretty much it regarding the masks but I was really just compelled to do this because I wanted to Partly I wanted to show somebody who mentioned to me, and they were quite determined, I suppose. They sent me a video. It was a South Korean video. It was a Korean video. Now, that might be true. You know, Koreans are quite up on this. They're quite, they're beating this, they're beating this uh, disease. They've, they've beaten it in some ways, unless it comes back. And, you know, they're doing testing sooner than we did and in a different way. And, you know, we're still just getting to that stage now in the UK, where I am based. Um, so it kind of that's what I was, you know, covering those. Um, and going back to Koreatown and New Malden, that's Koreatown. It's Europe's biggest Koreatown, with um, and biggest populated, I believe. Not not the biggest area because it's not just Koreans that live here. I think there's probably there's under fifty thousand Koreans, perhaps thirty five, forty five. I'm not sure the exact numbers. Um, 
I went there today because I had to do some shopping after, you know, after a few days in the house, apart from one day where I went for a walk, which wasn't near people. So I'm hoping I was fine. But um, I wanted to mention, I'm just going to look at this, that when I went to uh, Korea, when I went down the high street today, um, it was interesting. I did a little video, which I'm going to put up because there was, there was obviously spaced queues outside Waitrose, Tesco's, um, I'm not sure about Lidl, but you know, who knows, but the chip shop was open, which is interesting, whether they're just saying they do deliveries only, and that means that they can have the counter bit open, I don't know what they were doing, um, and um, Poundland was open, you know, they, they are kind of a mini supermarket now, they do so many food things, but it was kind of, yeah, interesting. So I did like a, I've done a sort of a video just walking down the street for anyone who's interested. It's Korea town. It's, you know, it's where I, where I reside now. Who knows for how long, but that's where I live. Uh, I've been for the last year, starting off in a Buddhist temple. Then, uh, you know, which was handy coming back from my situation in, in Asia, having done some Ayurvedic treatment and all that. Anyway, I'm drifting off the subject because that's what I do. <laughs> um, I uh, wanted to mention also that the um, next month, April, the this the sixth year anniversary of the Sewol ferry um, tragedy. I wear this. I often wear these. These things all relate to Sewol. I'm always wearing something. It was so hot in here yesterday that I was wearing just a undone shirt, and this I just wore this. I just want to wear something that's. I remember these children and adults that were lost 300 at sea because in 2014 when so well happened it's something I'm very passionate about and if you want to know more about this contact me because we do a lot of work with the with these memorials I suppose um, that we do in London every month we have something pretty much or, or we bring it to Koreatown now as well um, so I suppose I did mention this SCJ church. I think I probably spoke about that enough in the last video. Even the, even then, I was keeping it very vague because I don't want to get anyone in trouble. It was just rumours that were flying around in New Morden about a certain venue, a certain establishment where people had just Koreans had just started this rumour that they were here and they were studying of coronavirus and it was all this conspiracy or not, not conspiracy. It was all this planned effort to bring disease. I think. I think that's what it was um so i think i pretty much covered what i wanted to say and i hope this reaches some of you and reaches enough people to just to just a handful of people or whatever just to you know talk about masks you should wear them if you've got them if you can if you're out in the open air and you're not visiting anywhere there's probably less chance you might pass her by there's still a slim chance but i'm not saying everyone needs to wear a mask because that's Probably not going to happen <laughs> and um you know this is just something that i wanted to touch on and uh, that's it so i will say if you can go to mini mini movie that'd be great if you can go to um youtube forward slash jason verney that would be brilliant as well if you want to subscribe that'd be perfect um like comment um dislike if you don't like it uh, like um, yeah as I say like and subscribe that'd be great I want to post more videos about South Korea and India but primarily Korea but there's India Thailand uh, Cambodia basically my filmmaking company is called Native Nomad Pictures and I'm kind of a bit of a you know I, I, I like to make films that are relating to different countries but I do have this Asian connection because of the films I write about as well I think that's it. I'm bound to have forgotten something, but that's it for now. I'll see you in the next. Um, I'll see you in the next video. All right. Peace and keep well. Keep safe. See ya.